guys, so today's video is a collab video that I am doing with Miss Mavi Star. Um, you should go check out her channel. She has a lot of great videos, and she does a lot of outfit of the day videos. Um, so today's video, I am going to be doing the makeup portion of our collab, and she is going to be doing a series of spring outfits, so make sure you go check out her video. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks, you guys. I've already gone ahead and applied all of my facial makeup, um, except for bronzer, which I'm going to take you guys through that. Um, and this is just what my hair looks like when I let it air dry. Um, I most often let it air dry because I'm trying to just take a break from all the heating tools and blow dryers and everything, and just like give my hair a break and let it get a little bit more healthier. So I'm not ashamed to say I wear my hair like this a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just to clear that up for you guys. Um, I got this at Ulta not too long ago, and it was just um, a little special deal they had going on. And it's the Too Faced, the Bronzed, and the Beautiful French Riviera edition. I think the packaging is really cute. I'm just going to be going in with the Chocolate Soleil. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. And I'm just going to be going in on the hollows of my cheek and just contouring a bit all around. Um, if you'd like me to do a video on how to contour, I'd be more than happy to. But that's what I'll be doing right now. I think contouring can make such a big difference. And some people are afraid to, but um, I really feel like it adds a lot of dimension to your face. And to be honest, I do it a lot more in the spring and summer than I do in the winter. But I like doing it because I feel like it makes my face look thinner. So that's why I like doing it. Another good tip is to go in on your temples and just put a bit there. I mean, that's the beauty about the kabuki brushes. If you feel like you've gone too heavy, you can always just go back in and go over it. What I like about the chocolate soleil one too is it smells like chocolate. And who doesn't like the smell of chocolate? Well, I guess unless you don't like chocolate, but who doesn't like chocolate, really? And I just go down the sides of my nose, not the center, just the sides, because especially if you feel like you've got a big nose, this will really slim it down a lot. Next, I am going to be using Snow Bunny. It's just that bottom one right there. And I'll just be dusting it on my forehead. My chin. And my throat. I'm also going to be going in with the, um, Chocolate Soleil again, and just going on the other side of my neck. Next, for my highlight, um, I love the highlight in here. It's called Powdered Sun, and it's just a really nice golden highlight, and I don't have anything that's golden. A lot of mine are more like champagne colors, so I really love that. So I'll just be actually taking my finger and just lightly going over my nose. You don't want to do too much of a highlight down your nose, and I like to do a bit more highlight on my above my cheekbone, but that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Next, and you guys all know that this is my favorite, I'm going to be using CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast, the nude side, as my eyeshadow base. I just feel like this is the perfect nude, and I know I've said that before, but I really, really do. be taking my little bronzer kit again and I'm going to be using the Snow Bunny but I'm going to be using this lighter highlight shade right there and I'm actually going to be using that on my eyelids. Crazy I know but that's what I'm going to be doing. I love taking highlights and putting them on my eyes. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks really pretty. It's perfect to do over a nude base and I just find myself doing it a lot. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a really nice champagne color, and it has a little bit of um, pink to it, I guess. Okay, next I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier palette. I'm all done with that palette. <laughs> um, there's just some really pretty shadows in this. I think you guys have seen this one before. And I'm going to be using that African Violet shade right in the middle there. And... Gotta look at my brushes here. I'm just going to be using this Laura Mercier Eye Crease Brush and be applying it in my crease. you guys didn't know that I do use brushes from time to time. Now I'm going to be 
applying this Laura Mercier shade. It's right there. I believe it's called Sepia. And I'll be putting that in my crease as well. And for my highlight, I'm actually going to just keep it really simple. I'm just going to be doing a matte white. So any white matte shadows you have, feel free to go ahead and use. But if you don't feel like doing a matte, you can also do a shimmer. But this is just, since I've done pretty much almost all shimmery shadows, I am going to be winging out my eyeliner and doing my bottom eyeliner. Um, for my bottom eyeliner, I am going to be using the Lancome Black Coffee liner for my bottom. And then for my top, I'm using a liquid liner, the Fabu Liner. I believe it's by Jordana. And what really makes a good smoky eye and Many of you may not know this, but um, using two different liners can really um, add a lot of oomph to your smoky eye. So try that out if you haven't already. I think I forgot to mention this to you guys, but before I applied my foundation, I applied uh, the Hard Candy Glow All The Way Self Tanner Bronzer goodness. and. Um, in the spring and summer, I kind of go crazy with self-tanners and stuff because I just, I don't go tanning in beds anymore. So, it's sort of like the way I tan now. And I love, I love this especially for putting underneath my makeup just because I feel like it gives me a glow. That's what it's intended for, but <laughs> I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, I've gone ahead and done both of my liners, as you can see. What I love about doing a nude eye is I feel like it just looks so classy to do a winged liner on top. It's like one of my favorite go-to looks, especially for spring and summer, because it's easy and I just find myself doing it a lot in the summer. For mascara, I'm just going to be using one of my lighter ones, since this isn't really a bold and dramatic look, um, well, I look, <laughs> I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier, and it's just Blown Volume Mascara Black, and I like the brush on it, that's just what it looks like. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I've stopped curling my eyelashes for the most part, unless I'm just trying to look like really special or something, um, because... I feel like it has made them healthier, and I feel like it's made them grow better. Like, I feel like when I was curling my lashes all the time, I feel like they were shorter, and I feel like taking a break from curling them, kind of like how I'm taking a break with my hair, I feel like sometimes your body just needs that, and so that's what I've been doing. For blush, I'm going to show you guys my newest obsession in love, is the Naked Flush palette, and honestly, if you guys are debating getting this, just go get it, because it's awesome. It's, this is the colors, and I pretty much love, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Naked line, but seriously, this color blush is so perfect for spring, so perfect for summer, it's just like the perfect blush color, in my opinion. So if you're looking for a universal blush for both Seasons, this is it. I really feel like this blush would be pretty on all types of skin tones. Because you can build it up, or you can just put a little, it doesn't matter. But not least, this is what's going to pull it all together, you guys. Um, it's the Revlon Sweet Tart Lipstick. And you can just get this anywhere that carries Revlon. And this is also something I feel like that is perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Go get it if you don't have it. <laughs> there we go. And that's the finished look for you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch Miss Mavie's Stars collab on this as well. I'm sure she's done a great job, and she's got a really fun channel, so check her out, you guys. Thanks. I've already applied Urban Decay's Primer Potion all over my lid. Now I will be using our main color today, which is a Cobalt Royal Blue.
and I'll just be applying that all over my lid. Hello Kitty palette, and it's just this blue right here. Next, I am going to be taking a matte black, Sony matte black you have is great to use. And I'm going to be using my MAC 213 SE brush. This is a great brush, it's one of my favorite brushes to use. And um, I'm going to be just patting it on, on the outer half of my lid. I'm not going to be smoking it out as much, I'm just doing this to add a bit more dimension to the eye. For my liner, I'm going to be using MAC in Graph Black, and I'll just be applying that to the outer half of my top eyelid, so I'm not going all the way across, I'm just doing the outer half, and I'm doing it a little bit thicker than I normally would, rather than winging it out, because I feel like these shadows are really dramatic, and I don't really want to add a dramatic wing to that, too, so that's just my personal preference. I'm going to be using Hypnos Doll Lashes by Lancome. And I'll be applying that pretty liberally. Um, you can also go ahead and apply false lashes at this time if that's what you're going for. Lipstick, I'm actually going to be going in with this MAC Dazzle Lipstick. It's called Sweet Bits. And it's just a sparkly pink. And that's the finished look for you guys.